Hello, and welcome back to the TruckCraft server. Yeah, this will be an update for the Enterprise D build. Quite a bit's been done on the ship since the last update, which has been quite a while ago. Anyways, let's take a look here real quick. It looks like uh, we've got some new uh, set pieces being constructed here, being developed. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look in here. Oh, transporters. There's one, and let's check out this one. Oh, another transporter. Looks like we've got an office of some kind down here. Let's buzz down here. Looks like it's been built or developed by uh, Burnt Toast. Let's see what Burnt Toast has been working on. Yeah, and this is kind of neat looking. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. The server is 118, and the mod pack is uh, the Trekcraft mod pack, along with several other uh, uh, packs, including I think it's the Kelvin pack is also included. We have uh, many different mods that are included to make the build experience on this server much more enjoyable. And uh, you have access to a crap ton of new blocks to build with and that is very very important because there is a lot of new details for builds and I cannot be even begin to tell you what's all being built on the server but if you want to see some incredible incredible looking builds pop onto the Trekcraft server here and check them out but look at this bridge this is the first time in all the iterations of the Enterprise D that the bridge actually feels like the bridge of the Enterprise D as seen in the show and on the movies. Um, it has flow to it, and the developers of this bridge did a dynamite job with it, an absolute win-win. Now, my role, uh, I was involved with later on, I came on with Calvin's uh, and uh, Pan's request to work on the decks that were below deck three. And eventually, um, Calvin wanted to go and work on a more slimmed down version of the Enterprise along the lines of what we saw originally with the Halcoon build and what was originally done on the uh, Mindtrek server. And I think it's a great idea. I remember originally we were building two separate Enterprise Ds on the uh, server at that time as well. We were building the modified one, which was a, a hybrid of the two plants, plus a lot of our own creative stuff. And then we were trying to build a dedicated Whitefire version. And that's when we found out that the Whitefire Hall that we were basing everything on was not correctly scaled and it was throwing off all the interior work. And we, myself and Blue Phobes and M. Heller had to uh, grab a hull and from a Miranda class and reuse, make it so they could be used for the Enterprise D. And of course that caused a lot of other problems that Blue later on tried to fix by readjusting the block placements along the uh, Cobra head in the back of the ship and whatnot. Moving on, um, it was a lot of fun to do that, uh, rebuilding the Enterprise D and then trying to rebuild the Enterprise D. Now it's a pet project for Blue Phobes. It's his passion project, and he's currently working on it on this server. But it is requiring a lot of uh, a lot of time and a lot of effort. And some of the ideas he has with his uh, passion project are pretty neat. And if you get a chance to chat with him, uh, I, I highly recommend it. Guy's got some serious insights into engineering stuff and the remodel work he's doing on the, his passion build is interestingly um, detailed and quite informative and he's having a lot of fun doing it which is what's important when you're building and Calvin he's working on the or was working on I think he's working on a new project now or he's he's got several projects in the fire or he has several eggs in the pan you might say and um, he's got the Enterprise D white fire version he's got the Voyager and I think he's helping out here on this build as well, because there's something I'm going to show you that he designed, which was just amazingly well done. And I think he's got a couple of other prep projects going. Then we have the Birch, uh, or Birchy. He's working on, on several JJ Prize uh, era, universe, whatever ships. Then we have Aquino, and uh, Aquino's working on the Enterprise B and a, a variant of the Constitution. And there's, of course, Martin, Mad Squirrel. He's working on the Enterprise B, which is, oh my god. If you want to see an amazing looking ship, come on to the Truckcraft server and go and check out Martin's beautiful Enterprise B from the JJ universe. Oh my god. It, it, it's just, you got to see it. I, I Seriously, you have to see that. It is a must come NC build on the server. And of course, you got Magpie, formerly known as Appler. Um, who is all over the place helping with uh, many, many projects, but his work on his luminosity is continuing, and the details and the depth of involvement with that ship is absolutely amazing. Uh, the detail, the whole work on that thing is just 
next level exceptional. Now we are also working on a new project, but we'll discuss that in a different video when we announce that project. In the meantime, we are still working on the Enterprise D. And the good news about the Enterprise D is the deck walls are now in effect in the drive hall. That means the drive hall from the lowest deck all the way up to sections in the neck itself are now filled in with actual walls. A lot of the rooms aren't filled in, but the main engineering section is done and the walls are up and it is an amazing thing to walk around and see. That being said, we'll get our way down there, but uh, we'll go down here and check out what Calvin did on the and what uh, Pan and uh, Magpie have been doing on, or Maggie have been doing on the D saucer section. Now keep in mind, when I was brought in, um, I was brought in to work with Calvin on laying in some of the deck plans and stuff. And eventually when Calvin decided uh, to go work on the Voyager full time, um, uh, the, uh, the D planning uh, was put on hiatus and then I talked with Pan, I talked with Calvin, and I decided to just rip out a lot of the stuff that was done because a lot of it was redundant and it was getting in the way. Like we had several different Jeffries tubes, excuse me, turboliths coming down into deck three and deck four. They were all redundant. They would go up, down, around. They were very confusing. So we streamlined those and simplified those. And then Panic and I re repurposed a lot of the uh, a lot of the space in the center. And without altering the hangar itself, we did do a lot of work to clean up the hangar interior deck wise and the island stuff here like this stuff here so this was all reworked on the inside on the outside we didn't touch anything i did move this from a offside three wide to a centered four beam which matches the center of the ship now so this sky bridge thing which is actually a turbo lift but i mean so you can visually see a turbo lift fly through there but most of the time you'll just see people walking through here because it's a minecraft build and we don't have turbo lifts so it'll be people walking through here yeah that's just the way it is so nothing was altered in the hangar it was pretty much just left alone i mean enterprise over there uss enterprise there so it looks like somebody fixed that which is good so little detail things are being done in the saucer section and some of the walls are actually going up some of the lower decks are actually being built in and designed we did redesign the fishy tank thing i did that uh, while they were working on the on the uh new calypso uh, maggie and panic were working on the new calypso and this deck down through here these lower decks down through here are uh, slowly getting finished up and uh, mocked up and we are making changes um, I work because I'm right-handed, so I mainly work on the right side of the ship. And you know, if you're, it depends. If you're left-handed, you work on the left side of the ship. If you're right-handed, you work on the right-handed ship. Human nature, just you know, we prefer, you know, just it's just one of those things. So if you see a lot of work done on the left-hand side of the ship, that's that's I panic. If you see a lot of work done on the right-hand side of the ship, it's usually me, but or or Calvin or somebody else. But anyways, um, the I panic and Maggie went ahead and they pulled out all of this section through here and redid it and i'll take you down and show you what the new calypso looks like it is the model that maggie designed for it is absolutely amazing but before we do that i want to show you what calvin's been working on and to do that i think we got to go up a couple of decks because still trying to still trying to remember all this fun stuff this right there that's the uh that's the entertainment set area okay here we go so prepare to have your mind blown imagine you're one of the elite crew and you're you 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 sprained your big toe and it's, oh it hurts really bad i'm having a bad day oh my god dr crusher there you go check this out look at the detail calvin put into this sick bay yeah this is just absolutely amazing you got this lighted system up here you got these beds this is actually i love trapdoors the one thing i was adamant about with the original uh mine trek servers we needed more modded blocks if we we're going to get into mod because to do things like what calvin did here uh we couldn't do it <laughs> so yeah yeah I, I bless bless michelle hart m heller's heart for keeping that server up as long as she did and tolerating all the crap that she had to tolerate and everything else i mean that server's still there if you want to go tour that server um it's got a lot of the legacy builds and stuff on it but it is a 1.12 server and uh, this is an active build server, this TrekCraft server that we're currently on, and this is a 118 server, and it has a host of uh, support mods and mandatory mods that are needed in order to uh, be active on this server. But I, it's well worth it because, my gosh, the, the, the level of detail that 
people like Creeper and Calvin and Birchy and Martin and Maggie and Blue and myself and uh, geez, uh, I, I Burt Toast, AQ, uh, Panic, so many others are able to achieve is just mind blowing. And again, I mean, thank you to I Panic for you know constantly trying to improve the server and constantly trying to update the this the uh, mod packs. And thank you to uh, uh, all the people, Astrol, um, Magpie, Maggie, I call it Magpie because it reminds me of a bird, um, uh, Panic, and Birch, and all the people who are working on the resource packs, and coming up with new block designs and everything. My god, it's 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 a great time to be a to be a Trekcraft builder. It is absolutely the greatest time to be a Trekcraft builder. But anyways, we have Dr. Crusher's office here. Again, Calvin mocked this up, and if we go through the door here, we go over to Dr. Solera's office. Um, just a side note, over here is for us lower deck types, because only the cool kids get to use that one over there. The rest of us are relegated to this one over here, and we all know, we all know, this is the better sick bay. Those guys over there, they're the elitists. They're the guys that get to hang out on deck one. The rest of us, you know, we're, we're, we're purging the replicators and cleaning all the organic residue out of the hollow decks. So we're relegated to this, this one over here, but we all know. This is the better sick bay. Just saying. Anyways, come through here. You can see this is all still a work in progress, pretty much. And he's still designing it. But again, Calvin's Calvin's got a lot of his own projects going on. He's got a couple of Voyagers working on. He's got his D project going on. Uh, you know, so and he's also got real life to deal with and uh, and you know fun things to do outside of you know block it. So, Calvin, thank you for doing this. This is absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to see what you do with. Uh, other other assets that you are working on as well as that uh, deep project that you're working on the uh, white fire plants and of course the voyage oh you want to see a really cool haul go check out his hauls for the voyagers he's done some really amazing work with those voyager hauls let's pop down here real quick uh, below the ship and take a look at the calypso uh, get out of here and then i'll show you what we've been kind of doing we did um well when they were working on the clip so i reworked the entire fish tank area so the fish tank area is now said two decks tall now three decks and then i reworked the uh the uh, corridors around it and all that other stuff so our fish tank is much much larger now and it's it's a good fish tank i like it but as we work on these lower decks we're going through and we're making adjustments and we're trying to finalize the plans and work around some of the block game issues that we we're running into anyways check this out look at what mag did with this one. Oh my god it just flows so nicely all the way around and the details are just gorgeous it's a beautiful beautiful this is the best looking captain shot for the enterprise di i've ever seen um this needs to be in star trek online they need to uh, unlay off the people from star trek online and put them to work putting this model in the ship you know, better yet, they should hire Panic and uh, Ma um, I'm sorry, hire Panic and Maggie to uh, go to work at uh, Cryptic and you know do stuff like this because this is absolutely amazing. Anywho, I do, there's not much to look at on the interior. That's the old one, so yeah. But you can see that we have been working on um, on laying out this deck. Panic's been putting in the corridors. We're trying to finalize a lot of the stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. Actually, I think most of that stuff's up in up in the ship proper. These lower decks are currently a major work in progress, so they won't match up from port to starboard. Um, I'm working mostly on the port side, excuse me, the starboard side here, the right side, and leaving the left side alone. And it's kind of difficult when you're working on this on a big project like this. There's a lot of active pieces going on, so it's a slow process. Keep that in mind if you come in and tour the ship. It, it's a slow process, but eventually it will get done. It's just a slow process. Speaking of slow processes, we'll bounce into the uh, into the um, lower cargo bay here and show you what Panic did with this lower cargo bay. After we got all the decks in, Panic went through and sort of fine-tuning everything and developing the lower decks. And this is what he did. Um, he, he went over to the original Enterprise D, the Halcoon version, and there were some really cool things to be had in that ship. Some of that were these sky bridges that were in there. And Panic Panic just, you know, he wanted to have them for this build. And I, I think he implemented them in a fantastic way. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff that we can bring over from the from the Halcoon build and the original Trek, uh, Mind Trek build. And then, of course, the version that I built, um, the version 3, 
and that which is currently a passion project of blue phobes again you got to check out what he's doing that and talk to him because he's got some pretty cool ideas and he's updating that that is his passion project and uh, it's I, i've been over there it's, it's some cool stuff so definitely check it out but panic just just nails it with the detail in this foregrip forward cargo bay gives you a nice feel for the cargo bay and then of course we have all the details all the walls in for this entire engineering section all the way up into I'd say a couple of the decks of the of the neck area but overall it's if you want to come tour the engineering section or the star drive you can of course a lot of the interior spaces still haven't been built out just the walls corridor walls and stuff like that are in but we will get it done it'll, again it'll, it'll take time and this was just you know we wanted to get it done so we could see how it's going to come together and I have to tell you the time that Pan put into this and the time Aquino put into it myself and who, everyone else that was working on it um, it took a few days mostly panic working on it pretty doggedly to get it done we uh, made some changes we added we brought down a turbo lift from up here and we moved it over and brought it down it's little things like that that's that's the kind of cooperative stuff the collaborating stuff that makes building these big ships so much fun was when you got an idea and you see what somebody else is doing you can feed off their idea they feed off your idea and then all of a sudden you've got some pretty amazing stuff going on and a lot of it was you know simple things like coming up with a plan for the um for the uh gangways here because the deck heights vary some decks are three tall, some are four tall. There are a few that are even taller than five. And all these stairwells had to be, you know, fleshed out. As you can see, some of them have stairs, some of them have slabs. But they are very consistent, and that's what we want. We want consistency through the ship. And you come up through here, you can see all this detail and stuff that's been in here. And it just looks so amazing. I mean, sorry about all the markers and stuff. But look down this corridor, and you just get the feeling that you're on the ship. If we go out to the edge... Or just down one of these bent corridors here. Let's see if we can find a nice bended corridor. It's kind of hard to really tell, but you can see in this in this, in the map, the mini map that uh, you know, it's a nice design. It's a nice layout and everything. It just it, it has a really good feel. Panic and I um, really were just blown away by how engrossing and depth of uh, I mean just coming around a quarter sometimes you just get blindsided like wow I feel like I'm walking on the Enterprise and this is a very very different implementation from the version 3 or from the Halcoon design so every version has its uniqueness and this one is by no is no different it has a lot of very unique uh, design elements and it is it for the most part it is its own deck planning I mean we, we wanted to get away from all the uh, pre-established deck plans for obvious reasons uh, you know you're copying the plans there's only so many things you can do with a saucer and whatnot so there's going to be some similarities but a lot of that stuff is uh in this build is just us having fun designing it now the set pieces for example like the main engineering the bridge the sick bay and other shuttle bays things like that are as close to what you would see in the show as you po as they can possibly get including the design of the of the Jeffries tubes which was a major rework for the entire ship went through and reworked all the Jeffries tubes for the ship and that was a lot of fun that was that update was a lot of fun you come over here you see the MSD sheet right here look at the quality of that this is this is block game and look how good that looks I mean that's you couldn't really pull this off in the um, 112 version of, uh, of my Trek, which sucks but uh, you know but thankfully, you know, you could oh, yeah, just look at that. It just it's amazing. Now, what eventually would be cool is we take us take our take our our ship, cut it in half, and then that replaces this. But you never know what'll happen. And you always got our you got a uh, turbo lift right here. You got the central control thingy here. And again, there is a lot more blocks to be added to the game. But there's an issue with uh, with um, moving the mod forward in the current state that it is in with uh, the way that uh, forge and other mods are working against each other and panic and uh, i think uh, uh nice stoke and a few others are really trying hard to uh, figure that out speaking of nice stoke if you want to check out an amazing builder check out nice stokes uh build he's currently working on the olympic class and if you want to steal some good ideas that's the ship to go to to steal some good ideas and nova's over there working with him 
and Nova is really into the medical stuff. So if you want to learn about why things are where they need to be, talk to Nova. Nova's got some pretty good insights on that stuff as well. But anyways, here's the uh, main engineering area here, and it comes around here, and then goes into like a little office area here, a little space bathroom, and there'll be a Jeffrey's tube access. Now, the Jeffrey's tubes and stuff, they're a little offline here because of the fact that it's a main engineering, and we have to have, we had to make some, you know, design choices for this in order to, for it to work. So, but uh, yeah, overall, they're all set up to be lined up, and uh, Kino was in here working on laying, or not laying them out, but filling them out as well. And uh, we did do some changes. We made some changes along the way. To, uh, Panic had to move a couple of turbo lifts because they were in the way, and then the section over in here got reworked considerably, and uh, we ended up adding an extra couple of corridors and removing some rooms that weren't needed, and they were redundant, and they just didn't work for the way that the, the plans um, that we decided to... Um, take the plans the direction we took the plans and uh, caused some issues so we went back through and did a lot of rethinking in the engineering sections and uh, so they're very much in development and oh I believe some people have even been working on the nacelle it's real quick buzz up there buzz up there and take a look at that uh, I sorry there's so many people working on things I honestly cannot keep track of all the all the builders whoops getting some getting some I don't know if that's uh, me or my recording software doing that, but I'm um, getting a bit of a lag there. Anywho, we're gonna we're gonna press on because I don't feel like starting the video over. But yeah, you can see what they've been doing up here in this nacelle. And again, I don't know all the builders that are involved with that, um, but there are quite a few separate builders involved with this back in here working on this. So check all this out. And again, just check out all the new blocks and the stuff they're doing with the with the new blocks and stuff. I mean. You want to have your mind blown again. Check out Creeper's uh, Constitution uh, build or Enterprise build, and then go check out the Enterprise B from Martin uh, Martini Glass, and uh, of course the stuff that uh, Birchie's working on, Mad Squirrel, excuse me, um, uh, Magpie, uh, and so many other builders. I mean, of course Birchie. Uh, I said Birchie. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Nice Stoke and uh, Nova and. Calvin, and I've said uh so many times now that I, I seriously, seriously have got to go on, uh, on a uh diet. That being said, I do appreciate you all taking the time to watch again. This is the uh, TrekCraft server. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Gotta, I tell you, so many uhs in one day can make a person go insane.